Welcome to Digital Asset News, the top stories in cryptocurrency digital assets, and break them down to bite-sized pieces. Today, a continuation of what is going on with Ripple and the XRP lawsuit versus the SEC. First up, Coinbase says it now has regulatory approval to list security tokens. Now, this is an old article from July 17, 2018, but it plays right into the hands of what the SEC just released today. Also, Max Kaiser was on Stansberry Research and he said some of the most savage, funny things about Peter Schiff and the learning curve of Bitcoin and how it corresponds to Michael Saylor and Elon Musk. Now we're getting all that, but let's continue on with the 12 days of Christmas. And we are on the 23rd, where some lucky person is going to win a Bitcoin.com exchange, Bitcoin Cash worth $100. And to do the giveaway, I've invited the director of the Bitcoin.com exchange, Danish Chowdhury, to do the honor. So let's jump in the office and have a talk. All right, everybody, welcome back to the office. So uh, thankfully, I got uh, Danish Chowdhury here. He is the head of Bitcoin.com Exchange, and he is the one that is responsible for giving us a hundred dollars worth of Bitcoin Cash. So Danish, thanks for first of all, thanks for donating. I really appreciate it. No and second, yeah. tell us about Bitcoin.com Exchange. Thanks. Uh, yeah, we're uh, a spot and margin exchange uh, that's uh, you know grown exponentially since last year. Uh, we've uh, done uh, quite a few new things. We launched Tari's token this past September on our on our IEO, uh, and yeah, we've been we've been growing. We're expanding, uh, and yeah, we're looking forward to 2021. So I hear there's some uh, some pretty cool things coming up in 2021. Some new features, which whatever those are, yeah. and some new geography. So <laughs> could yes. you tell us about that? We're, we're expanding, we're bringing a localized experience to a lot of new places. Uh, you'll hopefully hear a lot more about it in Q1. I uh, can't say too much right now. I don't want to spoil the surprises. <laughs> Son of a gun. All right. Well, maybe at some point you'll let us all know exactly what's going to happen. Okay. So for you watching, we're doing a live premiere. All you got to do is there is a link to the Bitcoin.com exchange in the description below. I want you to click on that link if you don't have access already. If you do, I need you to go to the Bitcoin.com exchange. Link, of course, is below. Tell us the three banners that are on top. Just a brief description of what they are in the chat, which will be right over there to the right. And the first person that uh, tells us those, those three banners will be the winner for the Bitcoin uh, cash giveaway, $100. So go ahead and do that sure. now. And uh, that is it. Danish, anything else for us? No, that's it. Thanks for having us. Uh, looking forward to the holidays and looking forward to 2021. Happy holidays, Danish. Appreciate it. All right. So since we are doing a live from here, don't forget, if you have a Bitcoin.com exchange username and password, just go ahead and go in there. Tell us the three banners that are on top. If you don't, use the description that is in the link below, which is right underneath this video. Should be the very first one. Sign up real quick, jump in there and tell us what it is. And I'll be picking it for the first person who can tell me those three banners. All right, let's jump into today's market. So today is December 23rd. It's about 3 p.m. El Paso, Texas time. So what do we got? Well, looks like Bitcoin is uh, kind of fluctuating. Not too bad though, 23.2, just down less than a percentage. But again, for seven days, 21%, can't beat that. Ethereum. Ugh, dips below 600. Don't like to see that, but what are you going to do? Down 4%. Tether, I don't care. The XRP, whew. well, look, let's look at the bright side. I get to finally say my joke again. XRP is peg of the quarter. Now look, look, I know you're upset. If you're holding XRP and you're like, this is going to be the, the greatest one, it is what it is. And uh, I don't know where it's going to go. And we're going to talk about some things uh, later on. But um, you have to understand that you can't get emotionally invested into any one trade, any one token, any one investment. So this is going to be a long, drawn out process. It's going to be the SEC versus Ripple. It's going to take a long time. Um, it could be just something as like a slap on the wrist and we all move on. It could be something like they just say, yeah, we're just going to dismiss it. Or it could be something even more severe and it goes across the entire spectrum of the cryptocurrency market. I don't know. Only time will tell. But um, me personally, if it goes down in the 10, 9, 8 cents range, uh, what I will be doing is I will be selling because I could use the enormous tax write-off that would uh, garner me. And I will take that and I will probably buy it right back up at whatever price point it is. But if it gets below a dime, 
that's what I'm going to do because uh, tax benefits, I mean, I just can't beat that. All right. Litecoin down 6%, up 30% for the week though. Hey, above 100, can't beat that. Uh, Bitcoin Cash for one of you lucky winners. Now you're going to get about a third of a Bitcoin Cash. Let's see what else we got. Jeez, Chainlink's down 12%. What the heck happened? You know, it's amazing. Uh, you have one issue with one cryptocurrency and it dragged everything else down. I don't understand why. EOS will be down or NEM or Tron or anything else. That's ridiculous. There's no reason for that. No, except for Theta's up. Good for you, Theta. And Celsius. Look at that. $3. For, whew, pretty good. Synthetics up. You know, the same players that are always up. Just look at the ones that are, are making it. Synthetics, nice little DeFi project. Theta Network, I mean, pretty great because we're all going to need streaming services. Celsius has a solid one with their uh, loans and APY. And then where's Mon ah, Monero, of course, is up because everybody likes privacy. So just take always take a look at uh, what is continuously up. All right, let's see how you would have done if you just would have invested in the Bitcoin and nothing else. So not too hot. Uh, no, 1.9 for Monero. Monero seems to have been, have been beating Bitcoin for quite some time. Also Celsius and Theta. And that's really bad. Wow, Zillica. Woo, Zillica. I got to look in that. I say that every time. I just don't do it. I, I, I used to own Zillica. I just got rid of it. Uh, but don't sleep on it. Could be very huge. All right, that's it for that. Let's jump into today's top stories. So first up, this is sent to me by XRP Crypto Wolf. XRP Crypto Wolf, I appreciate it. This was pretty great. It's an old article, but uh, it's one of the fears that people have. They go, well, look, um, we just talked about this today. Uh, Bitwise liquidated their crypto fund, the XRP aspect of it, which it wasn't that much. It was like about 3%. And they're not going to offer it again because they go, we don't know what's going to happen. So the big thing is they said is we are not, we can't do this because we don't know what's going to happen with XRP. Is it going to be deemed a security or not? It doesn't matter what you think. It's really what the SEC is going to, going to decide and, and how they're going to give out those penalties. So this is good news from back in the day, and it's going to tie into what's happening right now, obviously. U.S. cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase, which uh, not my favorite, has received regulatory approval to acquire several securities firms, a move that could eventually see it supporting trading in tokens deemed as securities. The Financial Industry Regulation Authority, FINRA, has approved recently revealed acquisition deals for currently regulated firms. And this is the this is the, the crux. As reported by Coindesk, Coinbase's CEO and President Asif Hirji, I think I nailed it, indicated that through the acquisitions, the exchange is seeking licenses as a broker dealer. Remember that word, broker dealer, an alternative trading system and a registered investment advisor. Why is that important? It's because today the SEC put out this press release and they state the commission's position is that for a period of five years, a broker dealer operating under circumstances set forth in the statement will not be subject to a commission enforcement action on the basis that the broker dealer deems itself to have obtained and maintain physical possession or control of customer fully paid and excess margin digital asset security. So yeah, for everybody who was worried about uh, Coinbase potentially delisting XRP, looks like they're okay. Now, there are other exchanges that do not have this privilege, and I believe that they will be delisting XRP. So just await for that to happen because it is going to happen and the price is going to continue to fall. Do I don't know how far it is, but that is what I see that is going on. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Let's move on. Last up, I was watching this because it's just so funny. I forgot how funny Max Kaiser is, and he really is a pretty entertaining guy. So, so here we have Max being Max, and the question comes down to what's the learning curve rut like for all these people? Because they're going to talk about Michael Saylor, how long it took for him, and Elon Musk, and then they're going to get into Peter Schiff, which I said I would never uh, talk about him on the show ever again, but this one was pretty special, and I had to break my own rule. Just take a listen. In your opinion. I know you didn't speak to Elon Musk directly, but where do you think it lies? Right. Well, the, the learning curve for Bitcoin, it, everyone is on it in the, at their own speed. So for me, I got it in 2011. Uh, Michael Saylor was, uh, looked at it in 2013. He didn't understand it. it. It took him five or six years to really figure it out. We've got Elon Musk is now looking at it. And because he's a smart guy, he'll, the, he'll get orange pilled, as we call it. And he'll understand what's going on here and he'll jump in. Peter Schiff, you know, he's in he's in denial. Basically, he's a, he's a fiat money addict and like a heroin addict or a drug addict. You, you can't do anything about it until Peter Schiff bottoms. See, until he hits fiat money bottom, he's not going to 
he's not going to be able to help himself. And there's nothing anyone can do to help Peter Schiff. You know, he has to, he has to hit bottom. He has to realize he's been dead wrong for the 10 years I've been telling him to buy Bitcoin since it was a dollar. I was at his house in Westport, Connecticut over Christmas a few years ago when it was under hundred dollars. I begged him and his son uh, to, uh, who heard about it, who's now buying Bitcoin. Uh, and I told him to buy it a thousand. I've been telling him to buy it for 10 years. Uh, but he's, uh, he's, he's not, he hasn't hit bottom yet. And it's very, very sad. Uh, to see somebody like that destroy their life, uh, destroy uh, their career. Uh, but that's some people are there. They just can't get it. They can't get it. They can't, they can't, they can't get Bitcoin sober. And I <laughs> so that's what, I, oh, that was so funny. He says, I uh, can't get Bitcoin sober. That's pretty good. So then Daniela here, she's going to ask him about uh, uh, debating Peter Schiff and she'd love to have it. And what Max says here, it almost makes, it almost, let me remind you, makes me feel sad for, Peter. I'd love to have you and Peter Schiff both on. I, I've debated him several times. I know, I know. Every time I just me beat him as up. the moderator. You know, it's like he, he doesn't have any arguments. He's never studied even for five minutes anything about Bitcoin. He cannot make an intelligent argument about it. He simply says, he just uh, mouths, you know, platitude. He just says silly things and he just, he, you know, he's an addict. It's like arguing with a heroin addict to put, take the needle out of your arm, Peter. It's a really bad idea. He goes, no, just one more shot. One more, just one, one more shot. Right? There's no way you can get someone like that to come around and, and help themselves. And, you know, sometimes, you know, some of us have to die. You know, so that others can live. You know, we can't right. be overly uh, sentimental about right. Peter Schiff. If he wants to go down with the fiat money ship, there's nothing we can do about it. I, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to, I've spent all the time I'm ever going to spend trying to help Peter Schiff from obliterating his career and his life. And I'm not going to spend any more time on Peter Schiff. I got 10,000 people in my Telegram group from all over the world who are buying $10 and $20 of Bitcoin every day, and their lives are improving. They're supporting their families. They're getting an education. They're, they're escaping the, the hyperinflation in Venezuela, and they're escaping poverty in Cuba. Those are the people we need to focus on. Don't focus on this bloated fiat money idiot who is simply trying to get attention by pretending to be even stupider than he really is. All right. Okay. It's a perfect example. I mean, first of all, it's very funny, but second of all, it's very serious. And it's very serious because of this. I feel like, and if you're a gold bug, listen to this, look, ladies and gentlemen, I own gold and silver and Bitcoin. And what Max just said there really hits home because when you have people who are in destitute or in third world countries and they have don't no access to anything uh, as far as like an investments, but they can get their hands on Bitcoin and they're able to put money into it. Uh, that's what's saving them right now. Uh, not only that, because of all the different uh, fiat that's on fire throughout the world. So they're doing that. It's actually appreciating in value greatly. That's a great thing. And not just in those worlds, but like even in first world countries. I mean, there's, there's, there's poor middle class, upper, upper middle class, upper class. It doesn't matter. People who have put money into Bitcoin are, on average, way ahead of people who have put money into gold and and some in stocks, I will say. So I feel like when you got like a Peter Schiff who's just out there who's really just talking about gold or precious metals or nothing and Bitcoin's going to zero, I mean, prime any Christmas, just like Max said, he goes, I told him to get a 100. I told him to get into a 1,000. I told him again, our 10,000. Now here we are. And he could have been doing the same thing. How many people has he duped out of getting into Bitcoin and frightening them just because he's like, you know what? Precious metals are the only way and Bitcoin's going to zero. He's been doing it for a decade, a little bit short. It doesn't matter. It's been a long time. And that I think is financial disservice to so many people that really could have benefited. And I feel sorry for those people. All right. So that is it. Oh, I take that back. There's one more thing. Uh, we have to talk about which is the winner for yesterday's unstoppable domains drawing so this is kevin connor crypto and this is the actual uh, movie that uh, zaji did to uh, give the bitcoin 100 dollars of bitcoin into kevin connor's uh, wallet into her address and uh, off it goes send bing bang boom very easy also the other winner was Rafael Machado from nftdesign.crypto. Don't have the video for that, but Rafael, it should be in there. If it's not, let us know. 
And that's all. So thanks for sticking with me to the end. I really appreciate it. If you uh, like these types of videos, the two more that's going to pop up to your left and right. Let uh, YouTube do their magic with that. And uh, that is all for today. So thanks for hanging out with me in the uh, live premiere. And good luck to you for the Bitcoin Cash. I'm sure we've already drawn the name. So that is it for today. Thanks so much. And I'll see you on the next one. Ta-da.